Now the cage we're gonna build fits perfectly in each raised bed. So the first thing you have to do is you have to measure the interior of the raised bed that you wanna put the cage into. So I'm gonna just go and measure the interior of this bed here. All right, so I've taken the measurements for the interior of my eight by four raised bed. I'm gonna take those measurements, I'm gonna go into my workshop and I'm gonna start cutting out all of the pieces of wood that I need for my own chicken tractor. Now the basic thing you need to know about building a chicken tractor is that it's basically a wooden frame. That's what we're starting with. And the version that I've come up with here is a very lightweight version. Now you can find the exact plans for this exact chicken tractor on my website and you can download it as a PDF file. We're using two by three lumber. It's not pressure treated. It's regular, um, you know, building grade lumber. Remember, you don't want to use pressure treated wood when you're dealing with animals or, um, you know, housing animals or on your raised beds. They're going to interact with the soil. Animals also have a tendency to chew on wood, and you don't want that to be ingested by any animals. So. We've got just the regular pine lumber here. And I've basically laid everything out already and I've pre-drilled the holes on the wood. So I'm gonna start assembling from the rear of the cage first. And these screws, again, I'm using the same similar screws that you use when you're building the raised beds. have been two good things about being able to do construction and you know knowing how to use a screw gun and all that stuff one is my dad is really proud of me but two is anytime I do go to my dad's house now I have to actually pitch in and do some work so it's got its pluses and its minuses in order to really center this door and the doorway what I want to do is I want to measure the inside of the frame right here, and that is approximately, or rather exactly, 41 and a quarter. Nice. All right. So my doorway is done on the end. I've got these other guys are still done and in place. And now I'm gonna take my strapping. Now strapping is just thinner wood. It's used for a bunch of different things. It's lighter, that's why I'm using it. So I've got my first piece right here. It's pre-drilled. And I'm just gonna assemble and line up the, my little frame wood right here underneath the strapping. 